That's solar ash. That's really pretty. Yeah. Aurora Borealis. I forget that that can go other colors. Like, I'm always used to seeing the green and yellow. The green's the most common. But in rare instances, you can get, like, bluishy reds and purples. Yeah. Are your glasses filthy? Yeah, I smudged my glasses, like, <laughs> me giving you a hard time. I'm like, oh, my glasses are smudged. That's the universe. That is the universe. Welcome, Mrs. Play. Hi. We finished Pathless. We did. So now we're going to play another indie game, because apparently... That's, that's our pick. That, that is our, that's our niche. I oh, have a like, type, apparently. Oh. We're going to play Solar Ash. Nope. Nope. And what can you tell us about Solar Ash? I'm looking to you because I like intentionally left my phone in, in our bedroom up two flights of stairs. Okay. Um, it's an indie game, and it has really pretty aesthetics. Uh, the company made a game called Hyper Light Drifter. Um. I'd have to look up and see what that one was more about. Uh, but I remember seeing this one and just going like, this looks really, really interesting. This looks like something Nicole would enjoy. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I enjoy uh, high contrast art. I, I've come to really, really find that I, I enjoy that. The edge of the ultra vo void, a world eating black hole. Hmm. Except... Uh, the star seed. Colossal device hypothesized to destroy Hypothesize. black holes. Hypothesized? Hypothesized, wow. Uh, its creators, the Void Runners, have embraced on, embarked on an impossible mission to save their home. The final member, Ray, has reached uh, the event horizon but lost all communication. Leaving, behind, leaving everything behind, she prepares to pass through the cusp of reality. Ah, you know, another female. Huh. Another female protagonist. Cusp is a great word. So they don't even know if it'll work, because it's theorized. Mm. Hey, that seems part of the trailer. It was. <laughs> so, very smooth. Minimalist. Russians. I told you all to leave me alone. Why are you so mad? You're trying to destroy the world? Or are you trying to save it by yourself? You can't accept help. That or the because that that's could be the arc. black hole. That that could literally be the black hole, like why are Being you attacking sentient? me? Yeah, like mm, it's not. I my like fault. your idea. Oh no. So this is why we don't have cool powers. Mm-hmm. Cause she yelled. I think she punched me. So this Ooh. But, we it. but you made it into the void. I did. So L2 in the last game was that uh Shoot your bow? Uh was uh yeah, but also like let me like slide in this one, I get to skate. Mm -hmm. And I have a little bit more combat. Yeah, there was like zero, like next to zero combat unless you're doing stuff with a boss. Um, it kind of makes me, uh, the last one made me think of, uh, similar to, oh god, what was it? Um, Shadow of the Colossus, mm -hmm. where you're right, there was, there was almost little to no combat, but. Okay, what do you unless do? you were fighting something ginormous, there wasn't much to do. Hey, there you go. Okay, I have a long jump. You jump and then flip and make it. Void runner shield kit. A crew must be nearby. Hey, you got your cape back. It's okay for you to be in that. You, uh, you touched it. Nothing bad happened to you. Uh, I can't tell. Oh, I can climb up it. It's okay. uh. It looks like a goo. Yeah, it doesn't look healthy. Yeah. My first thought is oil slick, which also equals bad. We shouldn't touch that. That's how you get poisoned. Oh, it's gonna be one of those games. Uh-huh. Okay. It's in the ultra void's pull. But it's not too late. This is 
Ray, can any Void Runners hear me? I'm looking at the Star Seed. It's intact but not operational. Scanning for conduits. Got a reading hmm. on the SID note at the base. Let's turn it on. Oh, a sentient. Hello, sentient. Please don't eat that. Just ran into some kind of massive serpent anomaly. Watch yourselves. It's a dragon. It is a dragon. I love that she calls it a serpent anomaly. I. I mean, we did just see a giant being. Now you can go super fast. I can. Super fast. Get there before the dragon. Yeah, we're not going to have a, a good vibes moment where, you know, good vibes is now upset with me eating me. Yeah, no. Okay. Interact with that. Boop. I'm glad to see in the future we even have to do things in safe mode. Yeah, but like there's one normal arm and then bionic arms. I know, well, that's actually really, really cool. Centralized database awaiting input. Um, Sid? Yeah, it's right. What happened to you? Where's the team? They're probably dead. We are safe. Systems offline. Anomalous impediments detected. Sending locations data to your multi-tool. That's an unimaginative name. There's no way I can activate the star seed without Sid. Better scan for these anomalies and hope there's a way to remove the. Ooh. Map, map, map. It's a map. Can you zoom in or out? Sid, Ricky. Large quantity of anomalous material blocking signal. Use multi tool to detect interfering signal sources. So that helps you determine the distance of things? Yeah, it's uh, it's my checkpoint, like where are things located. Mm -hmm. But I want to go over here because I don't know what these little dewdrops do. And I realize they're not really dewish. They look more like blood echoes from Bloodborne. Oh, but, I was uh, say bubblegum? Oh, well, the bubblegum's good. Or it is... the inside of like the lava lamps. Ooh. <laughs> Instead that's of blood echoes, one. how about these? Because <laughs> it does that. Makes me think I like that lamp. I sink a little bit in those, in, in the clouds. What's that? Ooh. It's not friendly. Not friendly. It's got little black legs. Can't trust triangles. <laughs> what does a triangle will do to you? Well, it looked like it was going to attack me. Fair enough. Yeah, just enjoy the... The movements feels really, really cool. I'm missing a lot of that, but you that's okay. You are missing a lot of them. You, uh... Feels cool, not good at it. I can clear it out. Fight it! Oh no, another one. No, we can say hell in this game. Good to know. Maybe interact with that other cylinder back at the entrance, and then we can learn more about how to deal with it. The, uh, this. The... I think this is a checkpoint. Oh. That is, I'm betting we get fast travel later. Probably. Not meant to climb that high yet. Maybe not. Or maybe even just touch it that long. I'm I'm thinking you're right there. Something's up with that goop though, because this goop mm -hmm. didn't give me that same issue. Mm -hmm. Look at us putting things together. It's a needle. Did 
you die? Uh, yeah, that was one hit. Okay. Plasma banked. So when we touch that goop, it tells us Megatron. Yeah, it says no thank so you. Don't touch me, please. It's that goop that has the attitude. Yes. Yes, so we can go over here. I love that cape. It is really fun. I like the climbing feature. I think it's nice. The climbing feature is very nice. Let's see what we have here. So, oh, oh, it's sentient. Ew. Ah. Uh -oh. Okay, that dragon's probably not happy with me. This, the dragon is now aware. A pink transition. Things are crumbling. One down. The goop is receding. Nature is healing. Okay. Do you give me extra goop? Or is it just a little bit of goop? Just a little bit. Okay. It was worth a shot. It was a good thought. I want to see if this purple thing gives me anything now. Anything in here? Maybe. Nope. nope. And can't slide on it. Okay, not much for that one. Okay, I have a feeling that uh, one one hole, two hole, three hole, four hole, five hole, six holes. Yep. So, if I were a betting person, I think we're done over here. 